For this experiment, you will need two jars, one half filled with water, food coloring, tape, rubber band, a scissors, three bendy straws, and a balloon. Bend two straws into a 90 degree angle and tape them together, then cut off half of one straw. Place tape over the opening on the third straw. This will act as a valve to stop the blood from going backward. You might want to use duct tape. Um, you don't want any holes where water could come out. Grab your balloon and cut off half of the balloon's neck. You don't want to cut off all of it, otherwise it won't be as tight as you need it to be. And then use scissors to cut small slits into the center of the balloon. Stretch the balloon over the top of the jar. You want it as tight as can be. You might also want to get an adult to help you with this because it can be a little tricky. Rubber band around the rim to secure the balloon. Put your straws into the small slits of the balloon. If the slit is too large, use tape to seal the extra space around the straw where it goes into the balloon. You don't want air getting in. This is roughly what your model should look like. The red arrows are the blood flow. So from the right atrium, which is not pictured, the blood will pump through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, which will then pump through the pulmonary valve into your body. Using your fingers, press down on the balloon. This acts like heart muscles contracting, which sends the blood through the pulmonary valve and into the body. The reason we have tape on the end of the first straw to act as the tricuspid valve is to keep water from flowing back into what would be the right atrium. <laughs> 